to play? Who would like to play? Put your hands up if you want to play. Okay. Let's come through here. You, sir. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. How are you? I'm doing great. Thank What's you. What's your name? My name is Corey Paul Harrison. Oh. <laughs> Very much giving us the full name there. Do you want to? <laughs> you want to give out your social security number while you're here? Is that what you want? Now, uh, Corey, I love what you're doing oh, here, you. moustache-wise. Yes. Where are you going to end with this? Where are you going to go? Well, I'm hoping to do a comb over because I'm I'm not blessed on top. So if I can go over. <laughs> um, but how long have you had this? This is maybe two months. Two months. Yes, sir. And when is your interview for the circus? <laughs> Uh, now, uh, what we're going to do, do you watch a lot of local news? Uh, I do, yes. Where do you live? I live in Alabama. Oh, Yes. Yeah! What are, you <laughs> what are you whooping for, Reg? I like it. <laughs> but you whooped like it was more than that. You whooped like you have some affiliation. Well, he seems like a really well-adjusted human from a really beautiful place. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Damn much. Damn straight. Thank you. Yeah. Well done. Uh, what we're going to do now, I'm going to show you the beginning of a clip, OK? And then you have to guess how it ends, all right? All right? OK, are you ready? Yes, sir. OK, now, our first video comes from WNWO in Toledo, where local anchor Christy Lee welcomed her daughter to help out as the show's weather kid. Take a look. That's my girl. That's my daughter out there. <laughs> this is your daughter. <laughs> Say hi, Mom. Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> helping us kick this back off, the weather kid off, back off. I was so happy to have Ivy but in the Weather Center with But just don't steal my job, OK? You're doing a little too good. <laughs> OK, so Christy tells her daughter not to steal her job. What response does the girl have? Is it A, she would never steal her mum's job? B, she has no idea what a job even is? <laughs> C, she's already been asked to replace Bill O'Reilly as a host on Fox <laughs> News? Or D, none of the above? What do you think? Uh, I feel confident about B. She doesn't know what the job even is. OK, Corey, yes. the sorry. game is called None of the Above. Oh, sorry. OK. <laughs> See, people normally have elaborate facial hair like this because they're really smart. <laughs> they normally go, hmm, let me pick you up on a couple of points there. <laughs> Uh, but you want to stick with B? You can stick with uh, no, B if you want. Uh, I, I think I'm going to change my answer to none of the above. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if you're right. But, but just don't steal my guys. job, OK? You're doing a little too good. <laughs> I may feel threatened. Well, maybe I can, because you're losing your job in and... Oh, gosh, well, I guess she just broke up with the sensitive subjects. <laughs> I mean, she may not be the best daughter, but she is an incredible reporter. <laughs> Thank you for playing, Corey. Take a seat. Who else? OK, wait. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. Do you want the ass or the crutch? <laughs> crutch? <laughs> Take it in. Take it in. Take it in. Naughty. You don't do this. Drink it in. Drink it in. Okay, come on, come on. How are you? How nice to see you. How are you doing? Whoa. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Couple of drinks before the show. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I didn't tell you something about local news. <laughs> What's your name? Kerrigan. Hi, Kerrigan. Where are you from? Uh, Covina. So from where? Covina. California. Covina. And who are you here with? Are these your friends? Yeah. Are you a squad? Is this the whole squad? Yeah. Stand up, squad. Look at this for look at this for some squad girls. Squad girls. <laughs> Thanks so much for coming to the show. Uh, you can all you can all do this together. Has your squad got a name? Jennifer. <laughs> oh, <my God>. Wow. <laughs> wow. That is a subservient squad you've got there. <laughs> we're a squad called Jennifer. Jennifer pretty much made that up when we were on television one day. No, you're Jennifer. You're? Emily. Emily. Desiree. Desiree. Kerrigan. Yeah, no, I remember. I'm just... <laughs> I'm thinking of a squad name. What are you thinking? 
<laughs> two directions. So do what? Two directions. Two directions. <laughs> oh, I like that. I like that. You know why? Four. There's four of us. So four characters. <laughs> yeah, there's four of you now. I, I think we all can appreciate that, that Jennifer's going out on her own. OK, <laughs> now. So, for something with more political substance, we head to C-SPAN, where a caller from Troy, New York, had two things to say to the Washington Journal. Take a look. Troy, New York, uh, you're on the Washington Journal. Go ahead. All right, I would just like to thank you for taking my call, number one. OK, so that was number one, but what is the second thing the caller has to say to the host, Rob Halston? Is it A, Washington needs to take action against fake news on the internet? B, Washington needs to take action against fake news in White House press briefings? C, kafefe, 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 kafefe? <laughs> or D, none of the above? What do you reckon? D. You're going to go with D? Yeah. None of the above? Let's have a look and see if you're right. I would just like to thank you for taking my call, number one. And number two, you should go f yourself. <laughs> I mean, uh, USA Today. This has been none of the above.